Good morning, good morning, good afternoon to everyone around the world. Welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video featuring Venusaur coming at you in the Master Rank, coming through the jungle. And at the end of the day, we're here, we're running Giga Drain, we're running Petal Dance. I played a game previously to this and I accidentally chose Solar Beam. We still won it though, but I'm just saying, that's not the way it was supposed to go. You know, it happens. I think Venusaur is strong right now either way, either build setup you play, especially if you can land those shots and or don't play like, how you say, like a Cinderace who's always super far in the back. I think you, when you play Venusaur, regardless of what build setup you gotta get into, it's a little bit better to play like that medium range, you know what I mean? Instead of being like that far range caster. Because your team is gonna sit there and get upset and ping you when you die or whatever. It's easier to just be up in that fight with Solar Beam and Giga Drain. I like running Giga Drain with Solar Beam. I think it actually, people don't expect it. And it does very, 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 very well. But right now, we're playing with Petal Dance, Giga Drain, we're rotating back between our top and our bot lane, we're getting these objectives super easy, and I will be camping bot lane this game. Why? Because we have a Blissey Dragonair. So a Blissey Dragonite, whatever you want to call it right now, that lane is destined in this game to do very, very well, composed of Cinderace Sylveon. Because with them, I gotta, I gotta expect them to come in with me, come in and do damage, whereas if I'm in this bot lane, Blissey's my support. She's gonna heal me when I fight in these engagements with Petal Dance, and we get those W's. I think that's a better that's a better value there. I'm sitting here chilling, waiting for bees to spawn. I see a Slowbro come around the corner here. Dragonair was also on him. Obviously, we're gonna leave this fight, right? Because bees are more important. There's there's no reason we should chase after Slowbro. I got heals on Blissey. I got Giga Drain with all these Pokemon next to me. So much sustain. I shouldn't have to worry about it. Now. Considering their jungler has shown top lane, which is talent flame, we can go ahead and shove this gold in. We can rush it, we can push it, whatever you want to call it. I got Blissey on top of me healing. Yes, been crowd controlled. But at the same time, Sylveon comes down here and I still have Giga Drain just to go in. Because what happens is, the more Petal Dance does damage to a Pokemon around you, an enemy Pokemon, it has to be an enemy Pokemon, it can't be a wild, you will lower the cooldown on all your abilities, i.e. Giga Drain. This is, this is why Venusaur feels so bulky, feels so healthy, because Every time he's in a team fight, and he's smacking people around with Petal Dance, Giga Drain keeps coming up. And the only way to slow down this Pokemon is Heavy CC. I see my Blissey in trouble here, so I need to come over here and help her out. Why? Because she was helping me out. She was helping out the team, being a very good Blissey player, being in that melee range, like you're supposed to. You know what I mean? I'm going to help her out if I can, so we do waste our Unite move there. That's fine. We secure her life, we can move on, we can get these uh, these jungle buffs right fast because I know they're not in top lane doing the Rotom yet because we just wiped them in the bot lane and Cinderace is up there. That's what I would assume. Because otherwise I don't know why Cinderace would be fighting Ninetales instead of trying to contest for the objective, but this is solo queue, so hey, you never know. Now, these jungle buffs are super important regardless of what you may think or what you may not know. Red buff gives slows on your abilities, whereas blue buff is a more helps you secure wild Pokemon, does more damage to wild Pokemon. Now, in this team fight here, we are in a bad position just because Talonflame, you gotta assume Talonflame has Unite move. Always, no matter what. Even if you just used it a second ago, you gotta assume he has Unite move. And guess what? He has Unite move. He takes me out. It is what it is. I don't necessarily know if Blissey was trying to aim for Dragonite or not, or that's just the way it happened. Either way, Dragonite gets to live. I get popped by Unite move from Talonflame, which sucks, right? But oh, they still haven't done the Rotom yet. Cinderace had a Unite move apparently the whole time, I assume, because he just popped it. I don't know. Was not paying attention to you know his whereabouts. I was more so focused on myself because in solo queue environment, you got to worry about yourself opposed to your team because you don't know what they're going to do. You know what you're going to do. You know what I mean? We're able to secure this kill and get the Rotom, which is great. Thankfully, to Petal Dance and Giga Drain and a level 7 Dragonair, what are you supposed to do? We're able to push this goal, and now we have to rotate to bot lane because Dreadnought is spawning. Now, generally speaking, I like to clear the enemy jungle, but they're already alive, and it'll put myself in a really bad situation, especially if I get killed here. So I need to leave and get down to that bot lane as quickly as I can. Cinderace is over there still in my jungle farm. It is what it is. You can't have perfect jungle every single game. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. But in this situation, we need to be in bot lane. We need to get down here and get this Dreadnought. Ninetales is probably going to cap that base, give or take. That's fine. Because now we can get this Dreadnought successfully, again, for the second time, and move on with the day. This will give us more levels, more leads, more experience, and that's what you need to 
essentially contest objectives and win games. Remember, Blastoise doesn't have any night move. So being Venusaur, with the Blissey on the top of my face, you're not taking me out anytime soon. I can eat that Talonflame Unite move. Blissey still has Unite move in case she needs to use it, but we should be golden here. But either way, she pops it on myself. What happens? We do something very stupid, I assume. Of course we are. We're going to go try to rush this goal. Now, this is one thing I don't like. Dragonite did Unite move, and I was just like, all right, he Unite moved. Might as well come in and try to help out. And I get myself killed. The team gets wiped. We just deleted, you know, enemy team. Not even five seconds ago, and everybody's up. You know what I mean? Everyone's alive again. So it's one of those situations where we have a lead, we need to back off. Generally speaking, you want to push your lead, right? If you're winning the game and you just wipe a team, you, you want to push, right? That was the mindset that we had. At least I think so. So we try to push and we just get wiped because they just respawn instantly. It, it's interesting how the concept works because... It's like if you have a lead, but if you push, you get wiped. I don't know, it's weird, dude. I think if we didn't push that, we would be in a better position, but it's not like we're doing bad. It's just something in which a mistake that we probably couldn't have had if we didn't do that. You know what I mean? Now, Rotom is up here, being contested. Cinderace has Unite move. I don't know if he's going to be able to steal it or not, so I'm probably going to come in here. He Unite moves nine tails instead of the Rotom or Waits. It is what it is. I'm going to try my best. I am dealing with a Dragonite and Hyper Beam, so it's a possibility he might Unite move on it, and he does. He misses it, thankfully, because it backs off somehow. But we still have to deal with the Hyper Beam, and he, Hyper Beam does way too much damage for me to contest and take it from him. But either way, we're able to burn it down really, really quick, which is better than just, just getting it. I mean, they didn't get any value out of it, so that's fine. Now, we could go bot lane, but then we risk the chance of them just taking Articuno, so it's probably better to sit here and chill and we probably wouldn't have made it down there anyhow the it's probably better to sit here and chill right let's wait for the enemy team now there's a slow bro here as long as i get up nope i wasn't allowed to play the game i tried i tried to smash my buttons i tried to do everything i could i was not allowed to play the game slow bro crowd controlled me as soon as he saw me and that was it so now i'm dead i got 10 seconds on the clock left my team is in is in shambles. They're all running away. Blissey still has Unite move left, so hopefully she can save that until I or Dragonite gets alive and we can do something here in this team situation. But I think they're going to probably secure this Articuno. Sylveon's trying to get it. We weren't able to get it from this from her. And somehow, we still have a chance somehow. As long as we can take down a couple of these Pokemon before they're able to score every single goal, we should be great because they decided to go mid lane first without taking down the outer goal, so they waste the time on doing that. Dragonite actually gets a score here. Talonflame takes a score in the bot lane, and they also get a score in the top lane. So now we're in a very, very bad spot, but keep in mind. Keep in mind. We're still in this game. We're still in it. It's not over yet, boys. It's not over yet. I still like thinking this Pokemon does an absurd amount of damage, but at the same time, it has been nerfed, I think, what, probably more than any other Pokemon in the game right now, I think. Hands down. It's gotta be. You know what I mean? It's like, better nerf Aurelia, better nerf Venusaur. how I feel right now. <laughs> but we should be able to do this. Think about that. We just scored 187 points there. Now Blissey has a score down here. We should be we should be golden. If we can actually get this score off because there's Blastoise here, who's a big boy. He needs some more milk, though. I saw your name, bud. You need more milk. Yeah, we should be able to win this game now. To be honest with you, that was almost 300 points between us three there. Us four. I think it worked out. But either way, hopefully you guys are enjoying Venusaur still. If not, you know, if you hate playing against him, you hate playing with Venusaur, I'm sorry. He's an easy Pokemon to sit up here, pick up and play, and climb yourself up to Masters if you choose to do so. I'm not saying play him on the regular basis because I don't think he's super fun, but he's a lot of fun when you have a decent team on you with you. Look at that. We actually came back even though they had Articuno. That's what's up. How much damage do we do? 96k. Holy crap. 143k heals, boys. On that Blissey. That's nuts. Hats off to you. Thank you. Appreciate you for being a very, very good Blissey player. But either way, this has been Paul's Place. Hope you guys smash that like button. Come join this Discord. Tell me I suck, what have you. Give me your thoughts and opinions on the new tier list that we just did. Catch you guys in the very next video. I'm out.